All right, Monday, the 18th, 19th, I think it's the 19th, we'll call it the 19th, check your calendar. Um, we've exploded this, uh, the rest of this uh, cabinet apart and uh, took the uh, the grill uh, accents off and uh, took the bottom out of it um, and we're going to take and do some gluing here and there uh, to get it back in uh, structural shape get the missing the broke off pieces here like this laminate right here and the um, and the wedgie thingies I think they're still intact they just split right off of that uh, they were on the uh, the top they were matter of fact there's still one both wedgies there um, all the rest of it was already broke loose as you've seen in the intro video um, we're gonna take and remove this laminated piece here uh, I'm, you know, I'm not really sure what the heck. I, you know, I have to check one of my other radios that I did a couple of years ago or a few years ago, and I'm thinking that there was a, a strip that went across here, but I don't see nothing on this end for it to do that. I'm not sure what this is from, but I'll have to I'll have to investigate that and see what it, what's up with it, because. As you can see, there's, there's screws over here and on that corner, over here on the bottom, and right there. But uh, every picture that I've seen of this particular model radio, either they don't show the back or the back they do show doesn't have a cover on it. So um, i got to figure out what the heck is on it because uh, this has got some terminals on the back that you got to get to so I'm thinking well why put a back on something that you're gonna have to access eventually one way or another maybe so anyway um, we're gonna try and get this thing back in basic shape so that we can re-glue all the pieces back together again and get it back in structural shape and then we can start sanding on it I've got some pieces in here that I got to take and deal with that are chips are missing over here I got I got one delaminating there and split loose uh, on the front there's a little bit of stuff there where it's coming loose here and there uh, we'll get that back on it this is not going to make too much big a deal right here, but I want to get it for sanding uh, because the uh, the bars, the crossbars, go in here. And other than that, I mean, it'll be ready. It'll be ready to start scratching it. Good. This here looks like it's been gouged with something, screwdrivers or something. I mean, it's going to take a little bit of doing to get it down to. Uh, to a good uh, flat even area even s surface nice feet so uh, we're going to be doing that so um, stand by for more all right now uh, moving on to the uh, dial bezel we've got the corners uh, JB that little split in there and that thing we've got it formed up and JB and all the corners are BJ that came out relatively easy you know I'm kind of wondering on this this must be and let me get this out of the way
that must be um, a generic unnamed brand I know it's uh, been uh, licensed through Hazeltine and uh, I don't know if there was any other thing on that particular uh, patent information as far as licensing other than Hazeltine uh, I'm not really sure Sentinel who, who it was sold through uh, but anyway I did find a picture of a Sentinel radio that's exactly like this with the exception of right in here in the middle those lines are broken those two middle lines are broken and it's got some fancy scrolling on the graphic and it says Sentinel in the middle of that graphic now I haven't seen any other thing so this must be an unbranded one through a some off licensed brand that went to like a McCrory's back in the day or or some drugstore or something like, like that who sold these radios so I'm not sure I'll keep looking and see if there's something but I don't think so. I'm gonna keep calling it a sentinel because electrically it is a sentinel so and I still got to check I still got to check the um, my earlier radios that I did the uh, one of the airlines and one of the uh, uh, musiphonic oh yeah I did a musiphon music air that's what it is. music air and the uh, Lafayette I uh, checked those two one of those two are the same configuration as this uh, they may not be the same uh, circuit wise but they uh, but they are I remember the the antenna the loop antenna same thing mounted on the chassis like that and it's part of the uh, it's not fastened into the cabinet it's fastened onto the chassis so we'll, we'll get that looked at uh, no look at it okay gotcha stay tuned we're gonna have some more coming all right um, we're getting these here glued up um, so that we can start doing a refinish on these and get them reapplied to the uh, to the wrapper on that end that edge this one here seems to be holding up pretty good uh, we've got these here glued up we got to give them time to cure up a little uh, got a little flakiness going on around this opening for the for the off on tone uh, everything else on the face here seems to be doing okay down this edge we're going to deal with these here once we get this thing back in position on the base and then we're going to fit up the top and see how good that goes uh, we got this little sliver over here that you seen earlier in the previous video segment everything else that's going to be taken care of later just like with the others uh, we've got the uh, internal labeling stickers uh, protected. Um, nothing on the front there. We're just going to scuff the inside a little bit so that we can do a, a refinishing on it, get some paint on it. I think we'll do we'll go with some espresso on the inside of this. Uh, the cross bars are been sanded and ready for pre-stain put these over here out of the way the base has been sanded and the edges have been touched up so that we can get a refitment on it whenever that is ready and then the top we've got cleaned up sanded up uh, most of those gouges that I mentioned in the prior segment 
they disappeared uh, there's a little gouging right here that that didn't get thing but we can fill that real easily and we've got the interior ready for finish um, and we got what else we got we got the uh, this edge here you remember it was split and hanging loose wobbling in the wind and it seems to me one of these other edges here was uh, was loose also hmm don't see it it must have been on on the on the wrapper wrapper crapper so but anyway we got that all ready that's going to be ready for some final sanding and some uh, pre-stain this is going to be this is ready right now because it's go I'm going to leave it rough this is the interior it's going to get that espresso finish this here once this is cured up we're going to remove all the clamping and clippies we're going to get this glued up in the back and then once that is done which should be later on this afternoon um we'll start sanding on this thing and it'll go pretty quick uh we're going to hit it with some uh some 50 grit backed up by 120 grit and then we're going to go hit it with a uh with possibly a 220 or 320 grit in order to schmooze it all out get it all one level or try to get it uh, minimize the grain uh, uh, valleys in the thing and then uh, it's going to be ready for fit up to the bottom and the top so stand by we're going to have more fun coming later <laughs> 